fine art and today I'm actually finishing up with my job uh, for now but I get to go to the most funnest part of the day which is doing artwork and in this video we're going to be doing a series several parter so it's going to be like a one two three possibly of going into four and five hopefully not too too long but it'll be a color pencil piece which I'm super excited about showing you guys and then also, if you guys want to stick around toward the end of the video, I may go ahead and give you a little glimpse of what we may be doing after this color pencil piece. So stick around, watch what's going to happen at the end, and let's go ahead and get started. in this video this is color pencil piece part one and I chose this piece to do well the reference let me go ahead and let you guys know that the reference that I used in this is from Pixbay and I chose it because of several reasons one I wanted to do something that was kind of travely on my travels you know uh, like exploration so we have a pair of glasses that are like magnifiers and underneath it's going to have like a little map and then I decided to go ahead and stick like a little mouse in there so that way you kind of got a little bit of everything not just you know an animal or doing wildlife you got still life you got a little animal and then you got some reflection from the glasses so that's what I decided that I was going to do in this and the first step that I'm doing is just placing in some of the darks. I start well with like one thing. It could be anything really. You don't have to just start out just like I did, but um, I went ahead and decided I was gonna do the glasses. And what I'm doing is just small little circles. I'm using, right now I'm using the Caran d'Ache Luminance to fill in some of these marks or some of the darker areas on these glasses and I will go back and forth and speed this up and slow it down for you guys so that way you can kind of see how how I work and then also kind of get through some of it because otherwise it would be a super long video anyways the pencils that I use to create this, I use several different ones. I use the Caran d'Ache Luminance, I use the Derwent Light Fast, I use the Derwent Pro Color, and I went ahead and I'm going to be using the Polychromos for the details. I love using the Polychromos because you can also get a fine tip on the Polychromos, and it's much like it's a little bit of a harder lead, so that way I'm able to get the final details. And when you're when I'm using these I do start I do have a little bit of a sequence whenever I'm blocking everything in I'm gonna be using I know the Caran d'Ache luminance definitely the light fast um, uh, Derwent light fast those are amazing at blending so it doesn't take much of it and whenever you use the OMS it really does blend very nicely and fill in and actually I needed to throw in I forgot I also used a couple of the Derwent drawing on those because those are really good they're just about as good as the the life ass colors the Derwent life ass on their blending so you can get that first layer blending down so that's what I'm doing I'm using those colors I'm kind of holding off on my polychromos colors to toward the end whenever I'm going to be filling in details. So I'm kind of going over this with multiple layers. I'm working in my darks, going back and forth, um, going around my lighter areas, and I'm doing like little bitty circles. But since some of the areas are really tiny and really thinned out, I will go back and forth with a light hand and just kind of put some color in there and make sure it's filled in before adding my OMS.
Now, the pencil that you've seen me use that has that, like, pencil holder on it, that is my Caran d'Ache Luminance, the dark, like, the black. And I'm having to use that just because I'm running out of color pencil. So it would leave me with very little grip. And I kind of, at the end, whenever I was working on it, I kind of used just the little black little nib instead of having that holder just because I was getting ready to switch out pencils here soon and I didn't put it back in after sharpening it. But the brush that I'm using here with the OMS, which is just light on the OMS, I usually take and dip just a little bit in and then I'll dry it off on a cloth, like a, either you could use like a shop cloth, like a blue shop cloth, or you could use like the Viva paper towels, just anything like cloth-like. And I'll just kind of dab it on there, just wipe it to where I can wipe most of it all off. And then use that to start blending and working in the color pencil. So that way it doesn't have that gritty grainy look. And the brush that I'm using in this is a Taclon uh, Filbert. And it's one of the smaller ones. So it ain't like one of the bigger ones. That way I can kind of get into the smaller details and be able to blend those out. I know some of you may be wondering like oh my gosh there's just it looks you know don't let this get overwhelming to you when you're working with color pencil just don't think of them as glasses just look at your reference photo and just look at the colors and that's what I do like I don't draw in on my reference photo as you can see it's just kind of like a simple little outline of where things go but it's not everything I don't map out every little dark to light you know especially if it's in a tiny area I just get an outline and that way I kind of know where where it goes so, so usually whenever I come back through with a color pencil that's whenever I try and refine everything and try and you know fine-tune everything also when you're blending with the odorless mineral spirits on this you may see a little bit of a rough edge on your paper to where it's not really completely smooth don't worry about that that's something that you know it's the base layer it's your first layer don't worry about it that's usually whenever you come back through again and refine all those areas with the polychromos or at least i use the polychromos another one would be caradosh luminance is also a good one where you can sharpen it to a fine tip and you can kind of get in there and do those final details but i i absolutely love working with my polychromos on refining those rough edges at the end now i'm doing some of the reflection right here and you see me add the white and a little touch of blue everything that i'm doing is based off of looking at the reference photo looking at those colors laying down those colors so I don't have the only thing I listed and you can kind of see my little card right there with my colors that I kind of jotted down was that I picked out a lot of the browns because the reflecting of the black glasses will reflect off of what's around it so if it's laying on brown like a brown map or you know piece of paper this like brown it's going to reflect those browns so that's what i was doing is incorporating a lot of browns into some of the lighter areas and by doing that i went ahead and made me a color chart and it's a list of all my browns and different color browns that i have different color like sepias and just different colors that i could kind of see in the reference photo and I jotted them down so that way I don't have to keep on making marks on the others, like a scratch piece of paper, it's already there and I can kind of look at it. So, and as you can see, I took that white Derwent drawing, it's a Chinese white. That is like one of the most opaque whites. Like, it's amazing. I mean, if you don't have it, it would be nice just to get just that one pencil. I mean, it will really help out. 
and I kind of lay it over like some of the brown like after I do like the brown or the black and you've got that reflection it's that little glare and if you take that Derwent drawing Chinese white pencil and just lay down a fine layer over the top of that and that actually looks more like a reflection like a glare it's not completely white and you can kind of see that brown underneath so that's how you get the reflection on like glass and and uh, different objects still objects that you may want to get a reflective look it's by adding what kind of is similar to an oil painting or an acrylic painting that you do and you glaze over it's it's kind of similar to that but in color pencil uh, it, it's I don't know it definitely works and it's amazing on how it does so here I'm going ahead and doing the little um, earpiece to the glasses and adding a little bit of reflection in that and now I'll be working on the nose piece which every little bit of it you gotta just think whenever you look at the reference photo that it's not just a looking at glasses oh I got to draw a nose piece a uh, nose piece goes up and down no just look at the colors that's it don't don't think of them as being glasses look at those colors and then just start filling in what you see on colors and where they go you don't have to think about them as being glasses because then your mind's going to wonder and it's going to try and say okay I'm going to draw glasses here's what glasses should be like this is what a nose piece should be like try and get those out And I really try and uh, do my best to list down in the description below what I am using to create the piece that I'm working on with you guys. Um, if I miss something, you know, I, hopefully I don't. I try and get everything that I possibly can. But if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything that you guys are needing help with, you know, that you're wanting to refine or do better, just go ahead and uh, comment me below. I'd love to chat, love to uh, help you out and improve on those art skills. And then also toward the end of this, I know you, if you got those rough edges, they're not completely like fine tuned with the detail. And if you try and go back over it with some of your pencils, you don't want to keep going over it because on the edges with your blending and everything else too much because you'll keep on widening well I don't know how those words are hard widening widening that's a hard one out the frame of the glasses so you want to kind of stick to what you have within those boundaries should I say on a reference photo and what I do is you'll notice that if you try and lay over let's just say some more color to add on to it and the tooth of your paper because this one here i um, forgot to tell you it's uh Kansami tints is what i'm using for the paper and you'll try going over it let's just say with a another layer of color and if it doesn't want to hold i actually have and this is really nice to have if you're doing a color pencil piece and you can just uh get the textured fixative and it's it's not the final fixative it's called textured fixative by brush and pencil and that actually is got some little grit in it so when you spray it it's almost similar to hairspray but i wouldn't say never use hairspray because it's not archival it's not good for your artwork um it could you know over time it could actually start turning colors so um but the texture fixative it comes in a can and I will actually whenever I'm done doing all my background like the first layer and getting all that you know where it's filled in it's the right colors and before I go over my detail I will um, go ahead and spray it with a fine layer of that texture fixative and by spraying a fine layer layer of that texture fixative lightly over it it adds a little bit more tooth to the paper and after i do that that's whenever i'll come back through after i'm done with all my final or my you know 
first layers that are all rough edges, I'll come back through with my polychromos pencils and start laying, da laying down my final details and that will actually stick. So that way it does show up. So don't think that by the time you get to the first point, it's all rough and then you try and go over it again with some details and it's not sticking because your tooth of your paper is, you know, kind of losing its, you know, grip or tooth then that texture fixative really really works it helps out amazingly so here i'm going over a little bit more with that um the mineral spirits or what i use is the gamsol odorless mineral spirits and just kind of blending out those areas that i had already filled in with the pencil and I noticed too, like some of the reflection, if you try and draw that in with your pencil ahead of time, it makes it a little lighter, but it does darken it when you add some of that mineral spirits or that blending to it. And you could just go over it again. So you can get that in a, another layer. All right, and there we have it. There is where we got left off today. So we actually finished the glasses on completing the first layer of it. The next time, um, I don't actually finish the final details of a picture until toward the end. So that way I can kind of spray over it with the texture fixative and then be able to go over with the fine details. So the next one, um, either we're going to be working on the map or the book, um, and then we'll go from there. So hopefully you're enjoying this. If you like to see more, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. That really helps me a whole lot. And hit the little bell icon so that way YouTube can notify you on the next video that I'm having. I usually like to post at least once a week. So it could be on Thursday, could be on a Wednesday. So I hope to see you next time. And just remember, leave a like and subscribe. Bye. Okay, I got a machine in the damn truck. I seen something back here. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I just wanted to sit out here and get some plain air drawing in. It's cold. Yeah. You're freezing. What are you doing? Just drawing. Uh, what kind of drawing is that? Oh, I just decided I was going to draw some marbles. Marbles? Yeah. What the hell's marbles? Well, I kind of lost mine a long time ago. <laughs> yep. <laughs>